नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स रिमेम्बरिंग मालाबार हिंदू जेनोसाइड ए ट्रेजिक चैप्टर ऑफ हिस्ट्री दैट टुक प्लेस 103 इयर्स एगो द मास्टरमाइंड ऑफ मापिला राइट्स हाजी एंड अली रेज्ड खिलाफत आर्मी द स्लोगान्स और बैटल क्राई वर नाइदर अगेंस्ट इम्पीरियल रूल नॉर इन फेवर ऑफ नेशनलिज्म बट अगेंस्ट द काफिर्ज स्पेसिफिकली द मालाबार हिंदूज द बिजारे यट शॉकिंग 1921 हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन मालाबार जेनोसाइड एंड फोर्सिबल कन्वर्शन ऑफ हिंदूज फॉलोड बाय द इन फेमस मोपला राइट्स और मापिला राइट्स मार्क्ड वन ऑफ द अर्लीस्ट रेडिकल इस्लामिक वायलेंस अगेंस्ट द हिंदूज दिस हॉरिपिक वेव टर्न आउट मोर क्रिटिकल ड्यूरिंग द खिलाफत मोमेंट द अनफॉर्चुनेट साइड ऑफ द स्टोरी इज दैट द होल एपिसोड ऑफ वायलेंस रिमेंड आइदर इनएक्सप्लीकेबल और डीपली मिस इंटरप्रेटिड comparing islamist with martyr on the eve of the commencement of the centenary years of the mapilla rights lasting wounds of violence have started throbbing the patriot year and specifically to those who lost their everything and still living in the rights nightmare but for many this still holds a political value For instance in Kerala MP Rajesh speaker of legislative assembly the communist demonstrated his loyalty and unbreakable illegitimate bond with the 1921 right perpetrators and especially radical islamist VK Haji leader of Mapilla rights when he compared him with Sardar Bhagat Singh spreading falsehood about Sam in the continuation of this D Raja member of parliament Rajya Sabha and national secretary CPI has made a disparaging remark about RSS BJP and said that misrepresentation of facts distortion of history appreciation of some historical figures and events while negating or falsifying other jar standard techniques in the sang toolkit however this raised the question of its sanctity does he misapprehend the so called toolkit does sang rss really need any toolkit to expose clandestine intent of distorting the historical facts to reveal their historical transgressions and simply to expose their hindu phobic mind if then if yes then for sure the alleged toolkit is to highlight their transgression and the act of hindu misya without adding any preservatives the sang since its foundation serves the truth with, with its natural forever the sang does not need any preservative to make it more appealing and acceptable the hindu phobic bubble is swelling up fast which is bound to burst simply because the layers of lies transgression of historical facts marking the masking the reality cannot last long establishing establishing caliphate rule now on a historical note the mastermind of mapilla rights haji and ali raised a khilafat army consisting of more than 60000 muslim soldiers with the turkish caliphate flags contrary to the belief the slogans allegedly their battle cry were neither against imperial rule nor in favor of nationalism or for swaraj 
Rather, the slogans were merely against the kafirs, that is, non-believers of Islam, or specifically against the Malabar Hindus. The aim was to establish the caliphate rule, as pointed out by the, the then deputy collector C. Gopalan Nair, who listed 51 incidents of unprovoked assaults against Hindus by the Moplas before the gruesome climax of 1921. In his The Mopla Rebellion 1921, let us discuss some more untouched historical facts that the communist and their supported historian intentionally ignored while writing about the Mapilla rights in Hessen Manor. In the Servants of Indian Society Committee reports and in the Future of Indian Politics 1922, Annie Besant said that more than 1,500 1, Hindus were brutally murdered, 20,000 people were forcibly converted to Islam, and private possession worth rupees 3 crore were destroyed or looted. In her letter to Lady Reading, wife of the, the then Viceroy Lord Reading, the Rani of Nilambur wrote that to convey at least some idea of the indescribably terrible agonies which they and thousands more of their sisters have been enduring for over five months now through this reign of inhuman frightfulness inaugurated and carried out in the name of the Khilafat, of many wells and tanks filled up with mutilated but often only half dead bodies of our nearest and dearest one who refused to abandon the faith of our father of pregnant women cut to pieces and left on the roadside and in the jungle with the unborn baby protruding from the mangled corpse or our innocent and helpless children torn from our arms and done to death before our eyes and of our husbands and fathers tortured, flayed and burnt alive. Our place of worship mandir desecrated and desecrated and destroyed and of the images of the deity shamefully insulted by putting the entrails of slaughtered cows where flower garland used to lie or else smashed to pieces. This was the act of your man kind angel Haji and Ali for Malabar Hindus who intend to bring the egalitarian society after confronting the Jamidars and feudal landlords was that Sharia's model of welfare state. The real issue was that thousands of innocent Hindus who worked as laborers, tenants and craftsmen were ruthlessly slaughtered. At the same time, all the Muslim landlords were left alone and unaffected by the atrocities. Ambedkar on massacre of Malabar Hindus Above all, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar himself in his Pakistan or Partition of India, B.A.W.S. Volume 8, page 163, called this genocide on Malabar Hindus as indescribable. Dr. Ambedkar went on to describe the Hindus were visited by a dire fate at the hands of the Moplas, massacres, forcible conversions, desecration of temples, foul outrages upon women such as raping upon pregnant women, pillage, arson and destruction, in short all the accompaniments of brutal and unrestrained barbarism were perpetrated freely by the Moplas upon the Hindus until such time as troops could be hurried to the task of restoring order through a difficult and extensive tracts of the country. 
This was not a Hindu Muslim rite. This was just a Bartholomew, the number of Hindus who were killed, wounded or converted is not known, but the number must have been enormous. Was Dr. Ambedkar a Swam Sevak of Sang? No, Dr. Ambedkar was a champion of social justice, a bulwark of freedom, a constitutionalist, a political forerunner and a true Indian patriot. As a matter of fact, the rights were set against a backdrop of widespread religious conversions. How can this be considered as the freedom moment? Probably we all may have accepted the distorted fact that the Muslims had assaulted and appropriated the properties of only feudal landlords and zamidars who were the invisible hands of Britishers, but that was not the actual case. The real issue was that thousands of innocent Hindus who worked as laborers, tenants and craftsmen were ruthlessly slaughtered at the same time. All the Muslim landlords were left alone and unaffected by the atrocities. Why can't we call it pogrom instead of calling it rights then? As a result, the theory of the agrarian revolution comes crashing down. Lastly, to conclude, historical facts cannot be subjected to misrepresent reality, nor can they be allowed to have forfeited in the hands of ideologically soaked and politically motivated historians. Rather, it is imperative to discuss the historicity as it happened in the past. There is no need to <coughs> distort the nature of historicity merely to protect the social and political status or simply to fulfill the obligatory appeasement action. The Mapilla incident was not a new phenomenon to anyone. It was indeed not a fight for Sauras but merely an act of radical Islamic jihadist or it can be considered merely as a failed attempt to establish the wicked intent of Ghazwai Hind. The freedom fighters who actually sacrificed their lives for real Sauras can't be equated with brutal warmongers whose fervent act was to nurture radical Islamist jihadist social composition. Thank you for watching this video. Namaskar my dear friends. Thank you.